What's up guys, Hopeless Dragon here with another deck profile. We got an update for the ban list finally, so uh, I decided to do an update on an old favorite. Um, did an update on Hat, Hand Artifact Trap Tricks. Um, after I saw the ban list, I thought about this deck. I thought about Cleese first, but still waiting on my geniuses to come in the mail, so uh, we'll have an update on that since we have Towers back, which is pretty dumb, but that's what Konami's doing right now, so whatever. But Anyways, let's get into artifacts. Well, hat. So start thing off doing triple artifact scythe. Uh, this guy's really good. He special summons during your opponent's turn. Well, all the artifacts share the effect that you can set them in your spell and trap zone. Then when they're destroyed during your opponent's turn, you can special summon them. And then they get a bonus effect. This guy makes it so your opponent can't special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of the turn. So really nice to lock off your opponent for a little bit. Then we got triple artifact moral attack. Uh, he's back to three now, so uh, I'm pretty happy about that. And this card is pretty dumb. We'll uh, see what it does here in the meta. Um, not sure if this deck will do much, but uh, it's definitely something fun to try out. And we live an older deck again. <laughs> but yeah, when he special summoned, you can just pop a face up card in the field. So pretty good stuff. Well, face up card your pump controls. And for the last artifact, I'm doing one artifact beagle attack. Just because he, he's special summoned, he can pop your spell and trap, so he can trigger your moral attack and your uh, scythe. So, pretty good stuff. You can also try uh, main decking um, Lancia if you want, but uh, I just didn't find the room for it. But, yeah, another option. I do have it in the side, but... Anyways, on to the trap tricks. we got Triple Mermelio. She's your searcher for all your whole normal trap cards. And if she's special summoned, you can destroy a spell trap. Then double Trap Tricks Deonea. When she's normal, she special summons a Trap Tricks from your graveyard. And then when she's special, you get to target a Trap Hole in your graveyard, set it, and then it'd be banished during your next turn. But um, you're probably gonna just use it right then, so it's all pretty good stuff. Then two Trap Tricks Mantis. When she's normal summoned, she searches any of your Trap Tricks monsters. And then um, you can target one of your set spell traps, turn it to your hand, and then set a different spell trap. So. So you have like your bottomless trap hole or something else that um, your opponent targets it with something. You can activate her effect, return that to your hand, and set one of your artifacts, and then destroy that instead, which is pretty good. And then on to the hands, we got double fire ham. Uh, destroys monsters, and when it's destroyed, you get special summon your ice ham. Um, just doing two and two, I feel that's a pretty good ratio for them. Um, then ice ham destroys spell and traps, so pretty straight up. That's it for the monsters, then on to the spells, not a whole lot, uh, we got Rikeki, cause uh, this deck can have a problem getting over big monsters sometimes, so Rikeki is nice, uh, Monster Reborn since it is back, um, pretty much staple, well yeah it is a staple in everything, this card's amazing, uh, I'm glad to have it back. And for the last spell, uh, one artifact ignition, um, not a whole lot of spells cause the deck's mostly traps. But uh, it's pretty much just a MST, but also lets you set an artifact from your deck to your spell and trap card zone. And if it's destroyed, your opponent skips their next battle phase, so pretty good stuff. Then on to the traps, we got Triple Artifact Sanctum. Um, this is pretty much the thing that still makes artifacts kind of annoying, because it lets you special summon an artifact from your deck. So it's good to just interrupt anything during your opponent's turn, but it's activating this, and if your opponent does for some reason destroy it while it's set, then um, you get to target a car in the field and destroy it. Then I'm doing triple back to the front. Um, just an easy special summon for any of your things. Get off your trap tricks effects, get off your um, artifacts effects, just really nice. I like that it's chainable, so um, and this deck doesn't do a ton of link summoning because um, it can't bring back links because it does special summon defense, but it's nice that it's chainable, so this is what I personally like. Then triple bottomless trap hole. Um, we can run three now, which uh, is pretty crazy to be able to use three of this again, but um, pretty good card. Anytime your opponent summons anything with 1500 more attack, banish it. Um, really good if your opponent pendulum summons a bunch of stuff, so uh, we'll see how it goes. Then I'm doing one floodgate um, and one trap trick trap hole nightmare. I uh, decided so to go with these as the other trap hole cards, just uh, floodgates, pretty nice. Um, if you want some something, you can book a moon it. Well, yeah, pretty much flip face down and then it can't flip itself face up again. Um, doesn't hit links, but you can hit something before they go for the links, so not too bad. 
And then I'm trying out one trap trick trap on nightmare just because it can be decent for whenever you're playing special summons to activate that monster effect, you can destroy it. So normally when you're playing special summons, they're gonna use the effect. Then two heavy storm dusters. Um, you can go twin twister if you want. I just don't really like the discard cost. And uh, it's good to just blow up stuff during your opponent's turn. Don't have to worry about wasting your battle phase. You can trigger your guys. Uh, a lot of good stuff. I really like it in here. Two Storming Mirror Force. A little bit of extra protection. Uh, two Solemn Strikes. I'm only doing two strikes because I'm doing one Warning and one Solemn Judgment. Because uh, Solemn Judgment is back now and uh, you want some life points. So uh, felt two strikes, one Warning, one Judgment. It's probably a pretty good ratio. Um... You can try out another strike if you want, but um, you really want to draw this probably later, or I don't know, you gotta really think about when using Solemn Judgment, especially with Trap Tricks, but um, well, not Trap Tricks, Trick Stars. But there's a card in the extra, which um, I have for that matchup. So, on to the extra deck. We have number 14, Greedy Saramea. Yeah, I think it's Saramea. Uh, this is your Trick Star Killer. <laughs> this guy is pretty cool. I don't think a lot of people know what it does, but um, when your opponent will inflict effect damage to you, your opponent instead takes any of that effect damage, and then if he destroys his opponent's monster by battle, you can detach the material to destroy all face-up monsters with attack less than or equal to the original attack of that destroyed monster. So uh, he's got 2,500, so if he destroys anything with 2,400 or less, uh, just detach and then pop everything else. And like I said, it's nice to uh, just any burden damage you would take instead your opponent takes, so... Uh, really good against a Trickstar matchup. Then one Pleiades, it's good for bouncing stuff. Uh, one Volcosaurus for doing some burn. Uh, one Durindle, just because he can retarget stuff. It's the main thing you can use them for. Uh, then we got the Utopia package, since Towers is going to be a thing again. Um, you're going to need to be able to beat over him. So uh, Lightning makes that pretty easily, and the extra material just helps keep him around a little longer. One Tornado Dragon, good for popping your opponent's stuff or popping your artifacts. One Baguska in case you need to stall a bit. Uh, Dweller for any graveyard relevant stuff. Uh, BA might make a little bit of a comeback. Again, uh, I know some people are using it, but since uh, we've got Torrential back to three, might see that a little bit. Um, might see ABCs a bit more. I don't know, just different stuff you might see around. And for the last succeed, uh, one Rafflesia, just because um, it is a hat deck and helps out with all the trap tricks and lets you activate your trap holes from your deck, which is pretty busted <laughs> and also makes it so your other trap tricks monsters are unaffected by traps and uh they can't be destroyed by battle so pretty good stuff then one boral load uh just threw it in here in case you can make it it's still a really good card uh decode pretty much the same thing and then mysterious is the main thing you'll make just because it's very easy to make with any of your trap tricks but uh yeah there was my take on hat for the 2018 new format as always, uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all later.